Hello guys, I'm going to show you the updates for my Warden Healer build for the rest on DLC. This build is similar to the Temper Healer one because we almost use the same gear and skills to support the group. This build is made for trials but works in dungeons as well. You will also find some advanced and beginner information. The major change for this DLC is the race and I also added the passives. Let's start with the race. I used to be a high elf, but now I changed to Breton. The passives increase the max magicka, the spell resistance, the magicka recovery, and they reduce the magicka cost of your abilities by 7%. This is quite a lot. You could still choose high elf, argonian or dark elf, of course. Then we go to the gear. The gear stays the same. Our main set is Olorim. It increases the damage of everyone if they stand in a circle. Only one healer needs it, except you split up. The second set I use here is Yerwood's Guidance. It increases the duration of minor and major buffs and shields, so major force from Horn will be buffed, which is the most important. As a monster set, I still like to wear Earth Gore. It removes the ease of the enemies and heals for quite a lot. Bogdan and Symphony of Blades is also possible. The traits on armor are infused on chest, legs and helmet. And on the small ones, divines. Then I put tri step and chance on chest and legs and on the other ones, Max Magica. To get the Undaunted bonus, I have Heavy on Helmet and Medium on Shoulder, because the healer sets always come in light armor. Then the Jewels, I have Arcane with two spell damage cliffs and one Magica recovery. To the weapons, on the main bar I use Powered or Precise with spell damage cliff. And on the back bar I have Willpower or Maelstrom Lighting stuff, either Infused, Crusher or Charged Shock. We have some other useful sets, just like Warm Cult, Infallible Aether, Sanctuary, Master Architect, Mending, Twilight Remedy, Spell Parkour, Symphony of Blades or Bogdan. The other healer, which isn't using Olorim, could use Infallible Aether with Mending or Warm. I like to have Infalbe Etherin group, but the best way to find out what to wear is to check with your group. There is no best in slot. Then I show you my skills. They stay the same. On the first slot I have Healing Ward. That's to heal up someone that is not in range. Then I use Budding Seeds. It's a very strong AoE heal and it also gives minor toughness to the group which increases the max health. Mutation is the next one. It's also possible to use the other morph. It has a good burst heal. I use healing more than mutation because I don't have breath of life. Then I have orbs. We use them to give back resources. You can also use the other morph. And on the last slot, I have combat prayer to apply minor berserk. It only applies to six people at once, so both healers need it. Then we don't use this ulti, so slot whatever you want, because we usually only use the ultimate on the second bar. So slot trees, barrier, meteor or something else. Now to the back bar. First slot is blockade of storms to apply minor vulnerability. Second skill is enchanted growth. It increases stamina and magicka region of 6 people and heals for pretty much. And it also applies minor toughness. On the third I have expensive cloak. It gives more resistance, it only applies to 6 people at once. If I need another skill, for example a shield, I replace this one. Then one healer needs elemental drain. It only must be on both if you split up. It debuffs the enemies and restores magic to everyone. On the last slot I put a netch. It 
restores magic at you and removes one harmful effect. This is our main ultimate, the Warhorn. It increases the crit damage of everyone and magic and stamina. Then there are some other useful skills like the shield, harness magicka, then efficient purge to cleanse yourself and your teammates or even like blood altar for the heals or extra synergy for Alkosh. I decided to add the passives to my build videos. I will go through them so you see what I got. The class passives, you need all of them. For the weapons, you need destruction stuff and restoration stuff. All of them as well. Then the light armor, you need all. Medium, you need this one, this one and this one only. And heavy armor, this one, this one and this one. And then we go to the undaunted, we need both of them. And here we need this one. And here we don't need any. If you use purge, you take uh, those, this one, which is for PvP. And racials, you need all of them. And very important to take the alchemy, this one, and provisioning those two. Then I put all attribute points into magic, huh? And I use the Atronach Mundus to get more Magicka region. This time Zenimax didn't increase the cap of the champion points, which is great. Means I did not change anything here. In the red one I got 66 Iron Clawed, 56 Thick Skinned, Hearty Element Defender 49 and Spare Shield 50. In the blue one I have 75 into Blessed and Elfborn for more healing, then to increase the damage I put 37 into Elemental Expert, Spell Erosion 27, 28 Mastered Arms and Tomaturge 28. Then the green one, green one I put 75 Arcanist in Tennessee. Then to decrease the cost of break free, roll dodge and block I have 50 Warlord, Tumbling 20 and 50 Shadow Ward. When you are in Mall A and CR you put less in Hardy but more in Spare Shield. Now about potion and food or drink. I use the essence of spell power potions. They increase damage, spell crit and restore magic cut to you. Those are expensive, so if you need something cheaper, use Essence of Magicka. I use them for easy dungeons or questing. They are also a bit weaker though. Then I have the Clockwork Food to increase health, Magicka and Magicka region. You can also use Witch Mother's drink, which is way cheaper but also a bit weaker. Then last but not least, I want to give you some useful tips if you play a healer. Make sure you don't overheal, means you have to know when damage is incoming or when you have time to do other things like buff, debuff, support or even do damage. It also helps when your group stays together if possible, then it's easier to heal with springs for example and you have more time for other things. Make sure to check with your group what sets or even skills you want to use like what's best for everyone, because not every group plays the same way or has the same tactics. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you!